this video, we will demonstrate self-treatment of the flexors and extensors of the elbow and wrist. Since there are many muscles in the region of the forearm, we will simply group them into two categories, the flexors and the extensors. The flexors attach from here at the inner elbow and come up into the wrist and extend into the fingers and will flex the wrist. The extensor muscles start here at the outside of the elbow and they run across the back side of the forearm through the wrist and into the fingers and extend the wrist. Trigger points located in the flexor muscle of the forearm and the wrist can cause pain to appear here in the wrist as well as into almost any one of the individual fingers of the hand depending on where we compress or locate trigger points in the muscle. To locate those trigger points, we'll start here near the inside of the elbow. We'll work on this area to about the midway of the forearm. After this point is where the flexor muscle turns into tendon, so we're not going to locate any trigger points in this region. We'll compress the trigger points here, and we can see how these pain patterns will pop up here and into the fingers. The next set of muscles we're going to look at are the extensors of the forearm and the wrist. These muscles are located here near the outside of the elbow, and they run all the way down the forearm, and then they turn into tendons about halfway down and move into the fingers. The pain pattern for these muscles can refer pain here over the outside of the elbow bone, can also refer pain down into almost any one of these fingers, as well as into the back side of the wrist. When we compress trigger points located in this muscle, we can see those pain patterns arise. Self-treatment of the flexors of the wrist may be done with either a jackknob or two or a knobble two. Self-treat in a seated position with the forearm bent at the elbow and the palm facing upwards. A stable surface such as a table can be used to support the forearm while compressing the flexors with a self-treatment tool of choice. Treatment may be applied in the region of the inner elbow to about the mid-forearm. Be cautious not to compress the hollow space on the inside of the elbow to avoid damage to blood vessels and nerves. The extensors of the wrist may be treated in a similar fashion to the flexors by turning the hand palm side down and resting on a table while compressing the muscles near the outside of the elbow. These muscles may be treated from the outside of the elbow to about midway down the forearm towards the wrist.